Why, good evening, everybody. My name is Cameron. We're playing Slime Rancher tonight. First and foremost, I'd like to welcome our good friend and comrade, comrade, camaraderie, compatriot, colleague, co-worker, Jake, again, who's sticking around at the party for another month as a VIP. I have apparently lost all of my special... Nope, just kidding. They're over here in the corner, so... You get to put on special party hits to begin with things with. And actually, it has been a long, long week so far. It's not technically over yet, but um, it's cocktail time, baby. We're actually going to start this off in the beginning of the episode because it's been a long day. It's been a long week so far. I know we're not technically there yet, but like it's been a long week up until the Thursday. Friday can be whatever Friday wants to be. But um, I'm going to try this setup. Usually, I would take the camera and put it down there and do my cocktail there, but I just noticed I have a tray table, so I'm going to see if I can like set up the camera in a comfortable angle. Here's a tray table. It's tray table time. Does this does this work? Mm. Maybe I may have to move up a junk behind me. I was gonna see. I'm gonna figure out and finagle now with the camera to figure out how I can get this to work. If I put it down here, I can move back a little bit. There we go. Let's do, let's do this. This this ain't too bad. How's that angle? Flattering enough? Flattering camera angle? Anna! Anna! They've called you. What do they want? Just put like put your hand in frame. That'll- that'll be enough, right? Yeah, that's not my hand. I was here, that's like, her hand. two days ago. Come yeah, on. and I was on stream yesterday. What, did you miss it? Two days ago. Come on, dude. Anyway, so... For those of you- Okay, so, actually, we're gonna start off with the- We're gonna start off with the cocktail. Long day. Long cocktail. Long everything. So, I'm gonna go into my... 1001 cocktails, but- I actually like this angle. This is a very comfortable angle. Not- not for my- my shirt, but anyway. 1001 cocktail books. Do you wear any other shirt? I literally wear no other shirt except for the one with the rainbows on it because I like the rainbow shirt. Actually, they told me at work today that I'm wearing shirts just like one of the previous employees who I guess was also a very colorful individual. Colorful things. Anyway. Today we are going to be making a cocktail called the Black Widow. The Black Widow is described as being not as wicked as its title suggests, but if you were feeling adventurous, you could take it straight on the rocks. I think it's supposed to be said in that, like, kind of inflection, but any anyway, that's what, we're, that's what we're doing. I just noticed, I didn't tag this beginning part of the stream as a mix a la 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 so let's do that. It brings the people in. It brings the people in, lets them know it's cocktail time. To make my Black Widow, not the kind that you see in Scarlett Johansson, I'm gonna need a couple of things. Oh, I don't have my measuring thing. I need to, I'm gonna, excuse me, I'm gonna go grab my measuring thing. Shouldn't be long, shouldn't be long. Hello, a measuring thing. Stream quality's dropping. Oh yeah, love that. Thanks Comcast. I literally tested this a half hour before and it shouldn't be bad. I don't know, I need to call my internet provider. Again. Anyway, again, in my cocktail shaker, which I have prepared over here, I am going to do a special thing. That special thing is add two thirds of a measure of dark rum to my cocktail shaker glass thing. I got Myers. it's dark, exciting mysterious like this lovely Thursday night. Are you feeling dark and mysterious this evening? I usually feel very light and mysterious. I'm not a very dark person if I had to be perfectly honest there. But uh, let's put two thirds of an ounce in our shaker. In our shaka shaka shaker. There we go, it's about, it's about right. Two thirds of a measure of my dark rum in there. I need a third of a measure. Oh, actually this isn't gonna make very much. And right, we're gonna double the proportions. We're gonna, make it, we're gonna make a double. We're gonna make a double. I want the glass to look impressive. There we go. So that's a total of four thirds of a measure of dark rum in my container. I need well, usually one third of a measure of Southern Comfort. Southern Comfort brand, Southern Comfort. Why would you use any other? It's Southern Comfort. Southern Comfort brand. Actually, does it have a brand? The Spirit of New Orleans, established in 1874. Original M.W. Heron? I can't read cursive very well. I don't know what you that's supposed read to say. Cursive? I think it's an R. Is that an R? Hessen? 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 Oh, don't tilt it that way. Oh. There you go. Sorry. No, you're good. You're good. Uh, Hessen? Hersen? H E R O N. Heron, like the bird. Awesome. Well, I need two thirds of a measure of that in my cocktail shaker. Uh, that's the doubled proportion because I want this to look impressive. I actually don't have much of this left. I would describe Southern Comfort. Southern Comfort is technically like a whiskey liqueur. Uh, because it's sweet. Kind of tastes like berries. It's very berry-esque. It's a, it's a very, very forward 
uh, hard spirit. Got a bottle of sullen comfort. You do, or I do. I do. It's really weird. Yeah, it's like, like you would expect whiskey, whiskey notes going into it, and you do, but it's like mostly, mostly fruit and other botanicals. It's good. It's good. We also need a oh, the juice of half of a lime. I I don't know what measurement you do for the juice of half of a lime, but we don't have any limes in the apartment right now, so I've got. Santa Cruz organic pure lime juice. I'm gonna shake that up a bit. I don't think this has been used in a while, but like it's really acidic, so like. So like is it gonna go bad? I don't know. I haven't seen any mold in it yet. Di Serono is still better. Uh yeah, I agree. It's got that nut that everyone desires. It's got that nut everyone desires. Yeah, say that again. Alright, that smells very odd. Is there a sell by date on here? Used by. You know what? Let's just not go into it. Do you want me to check? Let's just not go into it. I'm gonna pour that in there. Ooh, pour I that in there. Consumption. Well, well, well. We're get there. We'll get Is there. This a lime? Is that a? Where'd you get that? Where'd you get that lime? Wait a minute. I definitely checked for lime. That? Where'd you get that lime? This is totally a lime. Oh my god. Can I have a? Can I have my squeezy me jigger? And, and and a knife too? Oh my god. Okay, cool. Um, well, now that that's out of the way, yeah, this expired uh, two months ago. So, bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. No more Santa Cruz for me. Okay, I'm getting rid of the other No one. more Santa Cruz for me. All right, we're actually gonna, we're just gonna cut a lime and do things like properly. Uh, <laughs> making Anna work in the kitchen. She made dinner for me tonight, and she's been making lunch for me as I go into work, and I just, oh, God. Yeah, the other one is dead. You wanna see it? I find more reasons to love her every day. Dead oh, the other God. lime is dead. Whoa, it's a nice brown color. It reminds me of the prince. I love the prince. I remember the prince. So it says half a measure of lime, juice of half a lime. So I'm just going to use the juice of a full lime. Put that into my cocktail shaker. Lime. Um, Anna, would you mind grabbing me a peel or two? Because this one actually calls for a lime wedge, as a, or a lime peel as a garnish. Do you want the nice one? Do you want the fancy one? Do you want the I Literally, I don't know. Any peeler will do. I could also just use the knife. I'm juicing one half of my lime, and then I will juice the other half of my lime in just a hot second. We're getting there. We're getting there. But, uh, yes. Anna does, Anna does do kitchen work. I used to do kitchen work much before I had the classic 9-to-5 job position, which I started on Tuesday. Right after our beautiful Labor Day. I'm gonna go with this one. Thank you. Ow! Oh, jeez. Things are falling all over the place. I'm gonna try to get a, uh, like a peel of my lime first before I actually juice the thing, because it's gonna be incredibly difficult to get the peel. And, nope, okay, that, that working? Oh, God, it's, it's juicing. Um, it's, it's juicing. Please don't kill myself. Please don't cut my finger. Oh, my God! Your stream quality is a bit blah. Yeah, see, um, why don't you do me a favor and type into your Google search bar... Comcast cable. Yeah, I can't get a peel off of that. Comcast cable. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go search up Comcast cable, Comcast, Ca Comcast Technology Center in Philadelphia. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna leave a one star review and say, You make my stream shitty. And that's that's how we're gonna that's how we're gonna get Comcast to fix their, sh fix their shitty internet situation. You will this is this is my story, right? You call up the company, or you get on a chat with them, and you say, my internet no good. And they go through all the rigmarole of checks and whatnot, and then they, you know, they end the chat with you. And they're like, oh, we can send a tech over, which you have to pay for, or we can replace your modem, but you have to pay for that. And like, that's where donk a donk And then, right after you're done with the chat, right after... Your internet gets worse. Your modem resets itself. It puts itself into bridge mode. For those who are less technically inclined, bridge mode just means like there is no Wi-Fi. Your computer cannot connect to it unless you're plugged into the router, which this thing only has two ports on it. So only one computer and one like Ethernet splitter. It's crazy. So um, they want to come in here and make me and charge me seventy dollars just to tell me, oh, there's no problem with your router. We it was in bridge mode, and so we took it out of bridge mode. It should work just fine now. Like, bitch. What is this? It's a cursive reference. That's your alphabetical letters. I have From alphabetical letters in cursive. It's not that hard to do. Well, no, it's not that hard to do. I'm just borderline inept. Oh, there's more ingredients to this. Not just the lime. We also need a dash of curacao. So I don't have dry curacao. I got blue curacao. So it's going to look a little blue. Blue uh, dash. Let's go with like a... 
All right, that was a little more than a dash, but whatever. Usually I do like a bar spoon. I don't like bar. I don't got my bar spoon. I don't really care. Oh, apparently there's a Comcast in the UK too, but they're decent. Oh, <laughs> good for you. I thought the internet service over there was Sky, but I think they recently did a um. They combined together. Ugh. Volkswagen Dust Auto. I want a nice car. I Disney bought Sky. The Disney buy Sky? I don't know. Something happened to Sky. I just remember when I was working for Comcast, they made the big announcement. They were like, "We're now a global company," and I was like, "Cool, awesome!" But your service is still shitty over here. So, eh, whatever. Comcast owns Sky. Yep, that they do. I was there for that. I, I went to the big Sky. I went to the the Sky celebration they were having at the headquarters. It was lackluster. No. Um. I was the top of the shaker. Did I lose that too? Oh, there you are, behind the camera. Ha, <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Sky TV is shit though. All right, well, at least we can all agree on something. That's at least a piece of the Comcast. I'm gonna shake a shake a shake of this, because I have my Dash of Curacao, my Lime, my Soko, and my Dark Rum. And, um, yeah, ice. I'm gonna get a shake a shake a shake up. I'm gonna sit back here. I'm gonna get real comfortable in my chair. And shake. Is this how you do your shake? Because this is how I do my shake. How do you do your shake? Post a, a tag in the, tell in the comments below. Hit that like button. Why don't you subscribe or something? And tell us how you shake now. Just, just don't. Anyway, that's my, that's my thing. And I don't know why. I was thinking about Austin, Texas today. So, um, it's going in the Austin, Texas shot glass. It's a big Texas guy sh uh, size shot glass because. You know, they're really they're really proud of their size down there, and they want to be the biggest, which, of course, means you're compensating for something, but whatever. I'm going to pour that out there. Wow, that's a cool little yellow-green color. It definitely is not supposed to look like that color. I put my rum in there, right? I definitely did. Oh, well, well that's that. And then we top that off with soda water and supposedly garnish it with a lime peel. I don't know lime peel, so I'm going to just kind of drop the remainder of my lime in there. Ew. And just do that. Ew, not ew, it's a lime. Fill that up with soda water. I'm gonna fill that up right in between cowboy and Texan. There we go. Cowboy and Texan. Ah, Vauxhall put the fun back into driving. Lamborghini, expect the unexpected. We're just getting a lot of car stuff in here. I like cars. I don't drive many nice cars. I don't see all those commercials and stuff like that. I am a fan of Das Auto. Because I like Das Auto. Das Auto is my kind of auto. Das Auto means the car. The automobile. That's great. And we're going to garnish that with as close to a lime peel as I can muster right now. So, uh, actually, you know what? Let's add a little... It's a little crushed. But let's just, like, let's just put a little, little pizzazz in there, right? Don't go to Whole Foods and buy me a lime. The stream might be over by then. It's going to be a short one tonight. I'm, uh... Got other things I need to do, unfortunately. Or at least it intends to be one. I don't know. All right, here we go. It's a little disturbing lime wheel. Does it look better from that angle? Does it look better from this angle? Or does it look better from this one? It's got the Texas flag on them. Like, okay, okay, all right. Ford, designed for living. Anyway, so um, this is our cocktail. This is the Black Widow. Note, it's not supposed to be this green. Because I don't have dry curacao, I have blue curacao. Dry curacao doesn't taste the same as blue curacao. Supposedly it comes from a different orange. I don't know if I believe that. Whatever. But uh, yeah, those are the tools of the trade. That's how to, those are the tools of the trade. And that's how to use them today on Cameron with an X. I name, <laughs> I spell my name arbitrarily with an X. Why? Yeah, I don't know, it's supposed to be silent. Anyway, I'm gonna try to like, I'm gonna put my cocktail over here. Y'all can look at that while I there we go. Look, look at that. While I move my table out of the way. I'm not used to this setup over here. So I'm, gonna finagle, I'm gonna finagle that out of the way. And then we'll get back into it. Get, get back into it. Alright, now. I've got that. Incoming Whoa! Incoming warning for all the motion sick people in the crowd. Here we go. Woo! Nice, nice, nice. Anyway, so that's so that's how you make the Black Widow. It's not a very it's not a very Black Widow. It's a very green widow. Um, yes. So now I re I realized there was a consumption in there earlier. I I, re I remember. Don't think I forgot. I'll do it. I'll, I'll do a nice I'll do a nice sip for this one. 
smells very it smells very rummy it's it definitely smells really really rum it's very forward on that rum smell and that's mostly because that myers is dark and dark and powerful dark dark and stormy no nah, not a dark and stormy that's the wrong kind of stormy um hmm actually that's really not that bad so the first thing that i notice is the bubbliness now there's that second one there's that second consumption I knew it was coming. The first thing that comes off of this is the bubbliness in that in the um in the soda water. It gives it it really accentuates the lime juice in there. And it it's it's phenomenal. I, I really like that. I, I think I think what's happening there is this the sweetness and berryness of the southern comfort mixed with the sourness of the lime with the effervescence of the soda water is really bringing off those like really like powerfully sweet flavors i'd say it's it's much more sweet than it is sour but it's all in all it's it's very lovely i would say it's rounded out by the flavors of the dark rum in there which i can't particularly pick out but there's a, almost a like a like a like a weirdness to it it's almost like if you were to take take like the bread like if you, you peel a banana right peel a banana and you got the brown bits inside of there if you took that brown bit and just kind of like smothered it on your teeth like I feel like that's the flavor you'd get. Consumption. I've now made it to the... You, you, you might be able to tell. There's a cow, There's a mark on there that says cowboy. Can you see that? Cowboy! I'm at the cowboy mark now. As I get farther and down this... Apparently, the farther I get down the Texas-sized shot glass, I go from Texan to cowboy to cowgirl, yikes, to Yankee. And then, I guess, there's just no label for the bottom-most category. So, like, eh, whatever, whatever. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's, I think it's, this is an incredibly well-routed drink. I honestly, despite the fact that I've got twice as much alcohol in it, I think I have maybe just enough, um, soda water to fill it off. But it's, it's great. I really like it. It's, it's very light, too. It's not very booze-forward, and it's rounded out very well by those, uh, like, nice little, uh, nice little, like, uh, banana-y, uh, rum notes. It's dark. It's, it's dark. I like it. Yikes! Yikes! Cowboy, cowgirl. Yikes. And the fact that the drink is green. Anyway, so that was... Uh, this is the Black Widow. It is not very black. I'm gonna call it... Uh, is there a green spider out there? Let's call it the Emerald Widow. I'm gonna call it the Emerald Willow. Wi uh, eh. Emer Emerald Widow. Because I put blue curacao in it. And that was, in regular proportions, two-thirds of a measure of dark rum. I used Myers. Um, excuse me. One-third of a measure of Southern Comfort. I used Southern Comfort. The juice of one half a lime, which we actually actually had laying around. A dash of curacao. I had blue curacao, that's why it's green. What was that, dear? I used the full... No, 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 the, the regular proportion is half a lime. I put two in there. This is a double here. And then you fill it up with soda water, and it's beautiful. Consumption. Alpha of Romeo. Beauty is not enough. Beauty is not enough. That's why we drink. Anyway, that's, that's cocktail time. Cocktail time be over. It's now back to exactly what you came here for. Which was totally not cocktails, right? It was totally not cocktails. It was definitely Slime Rancher. That's exactly what you came for. It was definitely, definitely not cocktails. Definitely Slime Rancher. Oh, but wait. Actually, hold on. I can't. I can't, actually, I can't move on yet. I can't move on until we also went to the thrift shop over the weekend. And so every single time I go to a, a bookstore, every single time I go to a thrift shop, every time I see like those little library, like those little like... You switch out libraries on the side of the road. I gotta get myself like more recipe books. And I did I noticed that there is a distinct lack of mocktails in my collection. Mocktails, like cocktails, except they're mocking the cocktails so they don't have the alcohol in them. Consumption! I got water around here somewhere. I'm gonna start I gotta start doing that. No, I have water. Yeah, I got water bottle down here. Hey, got my water bottle. There you go. There you go. Got that, got that, got that. Anyway. Hi mom! Hi mom! But the mom radar. I don't know where my party horns are. We'll have to skip that this time. Anyway, so so this is this is awesome. So the book that I picked up at the thrift store the other day is a mocktail book. But what struck me is that the spine of the book said Pregatinis. And I was like, I was like, please don't tell me you're about to tell please don't tell me you're gonna make cocktails for pregnant women. 
Things move quickly in the cocktail fast lane, but grind to a halt when pregnancy kicks in? Right? Wrong. Even when spotting a baby bump, modern moms can stay in the social swing of things with Pregatinis. Trademarked, a one-of-a-kind collection of lip-smacking, liquorless libations designed by master mixologist Natalie Bovis, aka the Liquid Muse. The recipes highlight fresh juices, herbs, and garnishes, as well as ideas for Pregatini trademark parties, a modern spin on the humdrum baby shower. Organized by pregnancy stages and symptoms, this illustrated pocket-sized virtually intoxicating guide also includes de-virginize for dad options, and even a few alcoholic concoctions with which to toast the grand arrival of your bundle of joy. It's a book for the alcoholics in all of us, including the pregnant women and expecting fathers. Or those who fall in between. It's great. How you never heard of mocktails? I don't know. It just it doesn't get enough attention these days. But the world is kind of wise enough to mocktails. I want to be able to include like mocktail stuff in what I do because like I know there are people out there who aren't old enough to drink yet. And, like you should be able to enjoy yourself too and not just have to feel like I'm waiting for the eight years so I can drink my first shot of the rums. Like nah, that's okay. There's 75 recipes in here and I was just like <laughs> drinking for pregnant women. Like. <laughs> Anyway, I thought that was hilarious to share. This will most definitely show up on a future cocktail stream because I want to... <laughs> I just want to see what it's all about. I, actually, some of the recipes in here are like... I mean, they're... I guess they're not that bad. Uh, this recipe is called Pants on Fire. Um, it uses passion fruit, guava, chili, chili oil. Um, let's see. We got Release Me, um, which uses actual figs, prune juice, and soy milk. But like... Oh, the Funky Monk. I was like, there's a picture up here with pickles in it. The Funky Monkey includes chocolate ice cream, banana, peanut butter, milk, and one or two pickles. Like, chocolate and pickles. Isn't that, like, a stereotypical, like, lady craving when you're pregnant? Like, what in the world? That's a funky-ass monkey. Like, pickles? Pickles? I I've heard of, like, picklebacks, where you combine your, your whiskey and your pickle juice together, but, like, with chocolate? Like, yeah. And then there's other stuff in here, like the Baby New Year Brunch Punch, which definitely doesn't include alcohol. It but it doesn't... Include trays, ruby, red, grapefruit, blueberry, ice cubes. Well, that's oddly specific. Anyway, more on... Uh, the New Year's Day Baby New Year Brunch Punch, including two trays of ruby, red, grapefruit, blueberry, ice cubes, which are made with two cups of grapefruits, approximately 14 fresh blueberries, and I'm gonna give the book to you, and we'll continue that adventure in a future episode of... At Bar! With an X. But until then... It's Slime Rancher time. I think we've been hearing the Wiggly Jigglies popping around long enough. It's we gotta get, we gotta get into it. It's grapefruit juice with fresh blueberries. Grapefruit juice with fresh blueberries? Sounds That's exciting. That's how you make the ice cubes. That's how you do it? I just said that. Of course I did. That's easy. That's so easy. All right. <laughs> Let's head in. We're playing We're playing Slime Rancher today because originally I was going to do like, I think it was Graveyard Keeper sometime this week, but I had to push that back because I was playing some games with Anna, 100% George Juice. That episode just came out on YouTube today. Check it out today. I included... <laughs> we have... We got a shower bath. We got a bath shower. It inflates in your shower. And it looks like... Uh, it looks like a blue trash can that has a condom wrapped around it. There's a picture of it on the video. I superimposed it into the video as I was editing it because I was like, people have to see this. People have to know about it. You know what I should do? I gotta put a link to it in the comment of that video. Oh my god. Uh, the name of the cocktail that Jake made, uh, Jake made me make, Bloody Semen, also known as Virgin's First Time. So, hello, why do you come in at times like this? I don't know, it's Slime Rancher. Anyway, let's head, let's head right into it. I literally have no idea where I was last time. I am so out. Consumption! I am so out of sync with everything that's going on. I have to completely redo like my entire plan schedule for things because of my new work schedule. Like, I, I need to take the weekend to like really sit down and think like, what the hell am I gonna do to fit everything in? Cause like, I got I got so many different pieces of my life that I just wanna keep together. Gosh. Cameron, when am I making ha hashtag drinks drinks? Oh, like in the channel? Oh, that'll be on another cocktail stream too. I got a couple of things. I got a couple of things. The Discord links, I'll get there. Once a month we plan on doing. Uh, it's not scheduled through this month yet because, like I said, I just kind of just started my job the other day and I was figuring out, like, all the times and whatnot. I got a couple of things planned. We've got, we got a, a, a co-stream planned with another community member coming up. Or cocktails. We're just chatting. Or at least that's, that's the plan, at least. Hello, Bob. Okay, 
Ok, 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 ok. Chicken, ok. <gasps> ok. Um, you want chickens, my friend? Painted hens and regular hen hens. Gotcha, gotcha. Slime theme, nah, slime theme jello shop things. I like that. I'm writing that down. Oh, I don't have my post-it notes on the desk anymore. I moved those to work. Wait, I have... Where are my... Where are the note cards? It's in here somewhere. Note cards! Note cards! Yeah, there we go. So I can write these things down. That's a really good idea. All slime things, jello, sh jello shots. Slime. Rancher. Themed. Jello shot. I feel like that could be an entire stream. All on its own. And it sounds like an incredibly good idea. I wonder, I wonder... Yeah, I know I gotta prep them a day ahead. I wonder if anybody's done that yet. Like, Slime Rancher themed cocktails? Like, like uh, Jello Shot Slime Rancher themed co cocktails or things? Because if that's not a thing yet, we should make it a thing. We gotta make it a thing. Oh, let's see. So I got those hens. There's painted hens around here somewhere. Bobo needs regular hen hens. Oh, but I definitely don't have any regular hen hens. I definitely don't. Because I definitely replaced them with the bigger ones. So. Ugh. Bloody semen is better? Alright, I'm gonna be honest. It was okay. I feel that the Jello Shot slimes would be more fun, in my humble opinion. However, we might have to do a taste test comparison. I don't know. Maybe those will be small maybe those will be small videos. You know, where'd you how'd you get out here? You should be in there, pal. Get in there. Get in there. I have been wanting to, um, at some point, do, like, smaller video type things. Um, and I just need, like, ideas for what to post on there. Like, TikTok stuff. Not TikTok stuff. That's too short. Like, small little, small little short videos. There's actually, I, I did, a while ago, set up an entire other channel, uh, on YouTube for smaller videos. It's not called Camera with an X. It's just the Cameron that's spelled with an X. It's on there, so it's got nothing on it. But, like, that's where I intended to put, like, small things. Just never got around to it. Haven't gotten around to it just yet. Working on it, though. Definitely working on it. At some point. Oh, more? More Q-berries. Q-berries. Ugh. Honestly, the bloody semen one definitely was not the worst. The worst thing that I think I've ever had was, um... At first glance, it was that one chili one. But it was complex, and it was actually quite enjoyable after a while, so I realized I actually kind of liked it. And then on the first cocktail stream, we made a cement mixer, which was just Irish cream and lime juice together. And that was, like, disgusting. It was terrifying. But we did it anyway, like we should, because cause we're, you know, we're into it. That's what that's what we do. Yeah. Cocktail versus Bloody Semen. An, an episode series. Tasting, testing the Samurai Rock versus Bloody Semen. That was, I, I like the Samurai Rock. That was a really good one. I, I very much enjoyed the, um, the Samurai Rock. It's like so... Like, we take a really good drink, and we try to com taste compare it to a really, really bad drink. I think a more comparable comparison would be the Cement Mixer and the, um, the Samurai Rock. Because at least the Cement Mixer and the Samurai Rock both share an ingredient. The lime juice. As opposed to... I don't know if there was any... I don't remember if there were any common ingredients between Bloody Semen and, um, and the Samurai Rock. Samurai Rock was just sake and lime juice, and Bloody Semen was quite a few things that I can't exactly name off the top of my head. Mint mangoes go to the amber. Amber, amber. Puddle Plort's got those. Heartbeats go to the rock boys. There are no Slime Rancher themed drinks according to initial search. That's good. New tasting territory? I like that. Definitely need to make a YouTube channel for cocktails. What was that, dearest? There's a beer slime in the game? I feel like you're looking at a fandom website. There's definitely no way there's a beer slime in this game. It's a fandom website. Anna got crunked. She got crunked on. She fell for it. <laughs> Hashtag you fell for it. <laughs> it's great. Oh man, the, Cam the Cameron becoming just all like X-Bar all the time. <laughs> there is not, there is. There is not right now. Uh, honestly, I was thinking about how things will change going forward because of the new job thing that I got going on here. And it might be more towards the just chatting cocktail stuff more so than the gaming stuff. What if because I, I, I Okay, except when Anna wants to play games. Fine. Thank you. 
But like, I, I don't know. I really got, I got to do some soul searching to figure out what comes next. It's very, I don't know. It's very, I got a lot on my plate right now. And like, I'm not like, I like, there are some people out there who are just like, I got a lot of, pl I got a lot of stuff on my plate when they actually don't mean it. Like, it just means they're working like one or two things and they just take a bunch of, like, a bunch of breaks in between. That can be difficult for people. That can be difficult. That can be very difficult for someone. I totally get that. But I've got like, actually a lot of things. Job stuff. There's the two job. There's the two job things, and there's stuff that I work on with my father, which is also live streaming stuff. And it's kind of it's kind of crazy, but like that is no excuse for me to be like, oh, but I'm just gonna drop things. I'm, I'm never gonna like I I I don't hope to never get to a point where I don't wind up doing at least one thing a week for all of the things that I work on. Uh, it's just a it's a time management thing, and I really really gotta work on that. Yeah, but um. We could definitely have, like, a revised bloody semen recipe. Yeah, like, something that actually tastes... Well, I don't want to be bold and say, like, actually tastes good. Because, I mean, it was unique. Oh, like, it was okay. You all... You all are problems. I don't like that. But, nah. There is no beer slime. There are no beer slimes in the game. And the egg slime is also just a fan thing. Oh, that feels like a good one. If there was an egg slime out there. Though... Honey slime could definitely become alcoholic at a time. Mead slime. Yes. A mead slime. I believe it would be. Apparently, too. Like, just because it's got honey in it doesn't mean it's necessarily a mead. I'm sure there's a process to it. Like, you could do, like, a... Like, I believe... There is a distinction between mead and honey wine. Don't ask me what that difference is, because I just don't know. But I know there is a difference. I'm sure. Let's put more prickle pears in here. I feel like this is probably just gonna be like farming type of day. I don't know if I wound up exploring anywhere. It might just be farming, which honestly, it's it'll be fine. It'll be fine by me. I'm 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 good with that. Let's see. Oh, it's a good idea. I honestly, it's a really good idea. Like something like the slime, like the the um, the honey slime, like the honey slime thing could include like meat in it. And it might actually be like, honestly, you know that might work, chat, work out. One of the things that I find difficult about honey honey cocktails that don't like include meat in them is because like honey is like incredibly viscous. And if you want to include honey in a cocktail, it's kind of difficult to do so because of how viscous it is. Think about it this way. When you shake a cocktail, um, oftentimes it's in there with ice. And if it's in there with ice, thing because of the whole laws of thermal expansion and stuff like that, when things get cold, it will become more viscous, usually, if it's like a Newtonian fluid or stuff like that. Um, but so when the honey, uh, when the honey goes into your cocktail shaker and you shake it around, it actually gets more viscous, it's, it gets more solid, and then it doesn't mix into your drink. So the only time that you're going to be able to have honey mix in properly is if you make it into a honey syrup first, which is just equal parts honey and water, you boil it, it just makes it less viscous. Or you do something like uh, like mead like in it, which could totally work as well. Um, but I feel like if you're trying to go more for a honey flavor, you would go like the honey syrup route if you were doing something else. Um, honestly, I guess it would really depend. Didn't know that honey wine was a thing. Oh, yeah. I thought it was just like add honey syrup to thing or mead type. Yeah, I think I, I, I honestly couldn't tell you right now like what the difference is. I just I, I'm pretty sure and I could totally be wrong on this too. I might just totally be talking out of my ass on this one. But I'm pretty sure that there is a difference between honey wine and mead. And I wanna say, um, maybe maybe it comes down to a distillation process. Cause like distillation is different than like when you distill something, it like makes it more alcoholic. And I that's the thing, like I don't know. Like I, I could be I could be talking totally wrong. Like, I want to say that honey wine is a different, could be a different thing than mead. It's possible that one is a subset of the other. The two might not be exactly mutually exclusive. Um, but the same thing with, like, sake and rice wine. It's very possible, and I might totally be wrong off of that, that rice wine is different than sake. Or one is merely a subset of the other. I don't... I don't exactly know. I'm sure that would require a very minimal amount of research on my part. I just... I'm just not doing that right now. I'm just not doing it right now. What I will do though, I gotta take. I just gotta take a look at something. I was mentioned before. I, I help. Uh, I help my father out with some other music-related live stream stuff as well. And there's a small thing that I may have to take care of in just a moment. So allow me to. I can. I can keep on talking while I do that. I'll just do that in the background. But yeah, just go do that real quick over in another tab. I'm gonna do that. Yeah. All right. But so, yeah, like, now from, now, from Virgin's first time, UK Limited, <laughs> bloody penis, half ounce, 
a vodka and just a half an ounce of grenadine. Like, all right, well, that's not, it's not bad. It'll just taste like grenadine, basically. That's all it'll taste like. It'll taste like a very, like a, like a more alcoholic, watered down grenadine, right? That's, that's what I would think, at least, is what I, is my, my intuition would be. Like, if you added, like, a different base spirit in there, it might change things up a bit. Like, I feel like, I feel like grenadine would go well with something that's more fruity, like, for, for example, like a brandy, potentially, or just another liqueur. Grenadine gets mixed with a ton of things, or just a mixer. Like, it goes great with orange juice. It goes absolutely beautiful with orange juice, grapefruit juice, and all that stuff. I actually, speaking of grapefruit juice, I literally just, um, I, I literally just had my first LaCroix today. Croix spelled C-R-O-I-X. Um, I've never had a LaCroix before, but it was apparently grapefruit flavor, and I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. Um, excuse me while I text my father real quick. Text my father. Waiting. And I'll switch it over. Switch it over. Nice! Anyway, back. Back to the Sleems. Back to the Sleems of the Ranchers. I got plenty of plorts in my inventory. Ugh. So, broad Google search says... It treats mead and honey wine as interchangeable, with one suggesting that if there is a difference, honey wine is a fruit wine with lots of honey flavor, while mead is watered-down honey that ferments. All right. I dig it. Honestly, any definition is a definition that I would accept. So, I'll take it. Now, I actually have a quick question for the Slime Rancher peeps out there. I'm very early to the, uh, I'm very, I'm very early to the crafting system in this. Are there any particular plorts, like, for stuff down the line that would be important? Like, for example, I have my Dervish, my Mosaic, my Honey, my Rock. I know the Honey and Rock ones are pretty important. I'm pretty sure I need these for these guys over here, like Rock plorts. I have plenty of those for now. Honey plorts will become impor important, honestly. <laughs> important. Important. Has anybody made that joke yet? Important? It's a pun. Is there another consumption on there? Did I miss that consumption? It's possible that I did. Anyway, consumption. I'm, I'm sorry that I missed that. If I missed that. Rock plorts in there. But I wonder, like, I don't think I have any recipes right now that call for, like, the mosaic and stuff like that. Uh, dervish and stuff like that. Also from Virgin's First Time, UK Limited. Mum, I'm bleeding. Oh, my God. Vodka. Half an ounce of vodka. A tablespoon of cinnamon. Half an ounce of sweet vermouth. A third of an ounce of grenadine. Half an ounce of cranberry juice. One tablespoon of milk. A tablespoon of brown sugar. That does, actually doesn't sound that bad. Blue Warp Depot available. I can get more Warp Tech. I need to get Warp Tech. I can already make these. Ah, I need Pink Plorts. Pink Plorts, Primordial Oil. I actually might have some of that already. Because uh, I believe I have mines over in the... Um, I think I have mines over in the Indigo Quarry area. So I'll go I'll go look at those in a hot second. Ouch. Ouch. Oh. Virgin's first time UK Limited are improving upon our taste, yeah. And potentially on marketing, too. I feel like you're targeting, out of it, targeting like a very specific demographic, and I feel like you might get more by like maybe toning down the names a little bit. That's just like, that's just my thoughts on it. You obviously don't need to change your entire business model just because of a single suggestion. However, I'm sure if you were opening to uh, open to different options like that, I'm sure you'll find a, a, a wider user base, perhaps uh, something a little more like a, maybe, but I guess like technically speaking, like it's all, it's all alcohol, right? Like we don't want to, we don't want to like entice children by making it be like, yeah, like, Virgin's first time at preschool. Like, oh, that just sounds weird. But yeah, something like that. Appeals to children. Gets them into alcohol early. No, that's when the mocktails come into play. That's when, that's when you whip out the Pregatini's book. You take the Pregatini's book. Crazy, crazy. Recipes are pretty kind. Oh, back to the crafting. Recipes are pretty kind and can include anything. The less valuable a plort is for selling, the more likely it is to be super common. Yeah, pink, rock, thoughts, boom, tabby. That makes sense. That makes total sense. Thank you for that. But I guess the more, like, later game ones are not necessarily used as often for crafting, which I guess, eh, makes sense. Let's put some cube berries in here. Y'all need some food. Y'all need food. Y'all need Jesus. So take you, Jesus. Take you, Jesus, and have a good time. Good time. Goodbye, y'all. Uh, I'll just kind of throw these in here. Oh, I needed regular hen hens. I still got 20 minutes for that. I can go and grab some hens. Hens of the hens. Plort. Uh, money. Money is good. Money is good. Money is very good. Oh. There we go. I need the other ones. There we go. Yes. Get all that money. Honestly, at this point, when you got all these plort... <coughs> Excuse me. When you got all these plorts around... What do except to sell? I am hiccuping. 
It's because of the alcohol. It always is. It always is. I'm gonna go grab some hens before Bob walks away and tries to go for somebody else to, that he can solicit for uh, the avian variety. Grab some pink slimes. Honestly, I'm gonna, I, I want pink flirts, so I'm just gonna throw some pogo fruit at these guys. Yeah. There you go. Eat that. Eat that. Mmm, yummy. I think the rarest plort to use is gold, which only show up for like two recipes, and I think they only unlock with like really late Z Club stuff that's co cosmetic. Oh. Can you craft like the Z Club stuff? I thought. You know what? That's cool. That's good. I like that. Oh, did something just pop out? Oh, it's just a regular guy. Pop! Pop six squish. Uh uh. Cicero, lip shits. Eat that, lip shits. There you go. Yum. Oh, yeah. Oh, yum. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yum. Give me the plorts. Give me the plorts, man. Give us some of them plorts. Got plorts. Plorts in this. We don't give me any of the oil type around here. Plorts. Plorts in the world. You know. Was on the farm and the far, far range today. Cuts to me like screaming with my body half inside of a slime. Haha, <laughs> hashtag slime boar. Actually, let's not let's not make the other thing. I I'm sure it already exists and I want no part of it. I want I want no part of the slime boar. No thank you. No thank you. That's what I should have said. I should stay in bed. Ugh. The Z-Club can unlock lots of things across the board since it's basically to give money a function other than, like, you have all your ploits laid out as you like. Yeah, that makes sense. I guess down the line, you wind up getting quite a lot of money after you've, like, bought, uh, purchased, like, all the lands and stuff like that. All the different areas to un unlock. I don't know if I've unlocked all those areas yet. I honestly can't tell if I have or have not. Yeah, out. not sure. Not sure. Eat this. Eat, eat these guys. Yeah. Mmm. Tasty. <laughs> Consumption. Eat. 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 Munch on your carrot. Munch those carrots. Mmm. Tasty. You know, I was actually discussing at work today that apparently carrots have an insane amount of sugar. One of my co-workers, I believe, just started, like, a special diet. Where are you? Where are you? Wait a minute. I hear you. I hear you. No! Wait! No, where are you? Oh, I heard something shining. I heard it shining. I don't know where it went, but it... No, wait. It's down there. Hold on. I need food. I need something that has food. I can see you down there, aren't you? Are you down there? Oh yeah. No, you've run away. Where are you going? No, no, no. Don't, don't go away. Oh, you're up there now. Can I, can I catch you? Ah, uh, I don't have any food around here. I guess I missed that opportunity. Chicken? Where chicken at? Chicken? Where chicken at? Ah. Chicken, there's food down there, but oh, you're already gone. Ah, it's okay. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I was just checking something. It was work-related, so excuse me for veering my attention for just a moment. That's going to be happening probably a lot more going forward. Oh, my God. Where did you all come from? What did you... Did you see that? I definitely saw... Maybe those were the ones that I shot off before, and they were, like, waiting to <laughs> meet their final doom. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. The chickens! I must run. I must run towards the chickens before they eat them. Do not eat the chickens. I need four. Four chicks? Four chickens? Hen, hen. Hen, 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 hen. Hen, 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 hen. Hen, 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 hen. Hen, 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 hen. I have all the hens. Now to come. Now first come. Divergence first time. Limited UK limited. I think I think I have blue waffle. Look it up yourself. One half an ounce of blueberry juice. A fifth of an ounce of lemon juice. A half an ounce of... WKD blue and a half an ounce of absinthe. What is WKD WKD blue? I'm not familiar with that particular ingredient. I wonder is that a is that a UK thing? Is that like a, like a popular thing over overseas? Because if so, ship me some. I want it. I, I want WKD. I'm gonna be like the cool kids over in the seas. Gimme 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 gimme. Well, not gimme gimme gimme. Please, please, and more please. Please, please, and, and ever more pleases. Or, like, I'll just order it myself. Actually, speaking of things that I plan on ordering, not necessarily on my own, a while ago, Anna and I went to... Actually, we go to Disney every once in a while. Not super much right now. But um, in in, uh, Holly, in Disney Springs, there's a, a restaurant, a Japanese restaurant called Morimo, Morimoto out there. Named after, I think, like a famous Japanese chef, I believe. And at that restaurant, you can get various different types of sakes. And we decided to grab a cloudy strawberry sake. 
And I was like, this is really, really good. I want to order some for myself. And, and then I looked for it and they're like, really, it's really expensive to get it shipped over. At least the site that I saw. And the site that I saw was like, you could ship a bottle over for like 40 bucks or you could ship like, a hundred bottles over with also a hundred bucks ship uh 40 bucks shipping and i was like well it's more worth it to buy in bulk because you ship it all over at once and so i was trying to find more people to hop on the train of getting some more of this strawberry sake and i got a few people and then i lost the link to it i forgot what it was called i lost my notes on it and i lost the website i was like damn it well i'm not gonna be able to order this thing at all and just the other day uh meatball girl my my buddy christina found uh did a little research and found the sake and then i was like oh my god oh my god like that's totally it that's the one that's the one that i wanted to get and i asked her if she could look up some links for it so i can purchase and it seems like the uh the sourcing is back on it's totally back on like we will have that strawberry sake we will have it it shall be ours the precious the precious strawberry sake will be ours must obtain the precious the precious strawberry sake uh, for those who are interested, actually, I can take a look at what the actual, like, um, what the actual thing is. Let me take a look at that private message. Uh, no, 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 no. It's Nigori. N-I-G-O-R-I. Cloudy, uh, Cloudy Sake Strawberry. And it's, um, I, it, from what I recall, it is very, very tasty. It is very, very, very nice. And I feel like it would mix really, really well with anything that would require, like, a strawberry flavor. I, for one, like, I find that a strawberry, like, a nice strawberry flavor is hard to come by that isn't, like, your dum dumb lollipop strawberry flavor. And I think that really hit the mark on that. It's, it's very, it's very confectionery, but it's not as much, I would say. Like, it's recognizable. Like, I feel like if you compare, like, a, a like, a dum dumb lollipop. Yeah, yeah, that's how you spell it. You got it. You got it. You can Google that and find it. And neat. Uh, I hope we enjoy it. Yeah, nice when life brings things back around. Absolutely. I'm really, I'm really happy about that. It's, it's very nice for that. I mean, I had pretty much, like, I pretty much stopped talking about it because I was like, I'm never gonna find this again because it's just gotten lost to the void of the internet. And but, but, like Christina, who was like, I really want that strawberry sake. Like, I really, really want that. Apparently, never forgot about it, which is great. It's great. So it's, it's wonderful. Oh wait, I can't. Oh, I can't collect these. I need to put the prickly pears in there. Prickly, prickly, prickly pears. What are those? You guys eat meat. I recall that. Y'all eat meat in there. 10, 40, um... That pounds? Pounds? Yeah, pounds. Free delivery in UK. Well, probably because, like, it's not... I don't know where they source it from. I guess, compared to the American standpoint, it's shipping overseas. But they might get... The, like, the distributor might be over where y'all are. I don't... I don't really know. I do not exactly know. Do we have any... I don't have any things in here, do I? I got three. I got three. That's good. Drop off my pink plorts over here and use some crafting stuff, maybe, eventually. Maybe. I need those pink plorts for my teleporters. Yeah, but so, apparently, like, the, the hardest part was finding what the name was. I, for one, like, I, I thought I searched for, like, Cloudy, Cloudy Strawberry Sake, and to no avail, did not find it. Um, unfortunately. Oh, I need primordial oil. That's what comes next. I'm gonna sell my plorts and then head over to the indigo quarry for that stuff. Um, but it was th that was the hard part, figuring out what the name was. And now, like, n now I can just Google it and get it shipped. Um, but that shouldn't be too, too bad. We actually found out recently, too, like, shipping overseas, it it's made in the U.S. It is! But apparently back then, I found a really shitty website for it because they were saying to ship a bottle, it had to come overseas. And it cost me $40 for shipping, which now I know was a total ripoff. So you know what? I'm glad that I didn't order it back then. I'm glad that I lost it and it came back around in a totally different way. Because now I don't have to be scammed by the likes of the internet. Or the folks who hope to do me harm on the internet. Financially, at least. Well, that's good to know. That's so... Ugh. That makes me sad now. I guess happy, but sad. Annoyed, mostly. Like, guh. How dare you? Eh, whatever. I'm sure- I'm sure I'll be the one laughing when I've got tasty, tasty strawberry sake in my cup. Maybe mixed with a little lime juice. Uh, I don't- I don't really know. Consumption! I don't know if lime and strawberry go well together. Cause now I'm thinking like, it'd be interesting to try the samurai rock? It'd be interesting to try the samurai rock recipe with 
with the um with the, the strawberry sake instead. Like it's still it's still sake. Hey, welcome to the party there, they on to the on to oh nine. Welcome, welcome, my friend. And for that, we put on party hats for you. Party hat, party hat, party hat, party hat. Enye, JK, JK. I know what an Enye is. I took Spanish class once. Once upon a time, once upon a time. I, for one, am not like a Spanish speaker. It's not like I'm fluent in the language or anything like that. But, uh, alas. Alas. I know, I took classes once upon a time. Oh, y'all are... Oh, no plorts! No, stop eating the plorts! Oh, God! Oh, you've eaten the plorts. Okay, well, you... Mm. Wow. Alrighty, then. Well, that happened. You know what? I'm fine if you're fine. Are you guys fine? Are you fine the way you are? Are you okay being mosaic and... Um, wiggly jiggly, tangle, tangle, tangle. Because if you're fine, I'm fine with it. I will not complain. I will not be the one to complain, so don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. I don't care. You, um, did I give you guys names? I know I gave some of the slimes names, and now I completely forgot they were there. But let's see, there's six of them here. Um, um, Bob, Lob, Job, Mob, Knob, and Gob. Bob, Job, Mob, Knob, Lob, and Job. Yeah, it's the ob sex tuplets. And they're a happy bunch, aren't they? Now that you're twice your size, very happy. Indeed. Cameron is getting very drunk in the next proper cocktail stream. Okay, I don't try to get myself drunk during cocktail streams. I want to at least keep myself sane and with my wits about me during those streams. Also, like, the cocktail streams are mostly... The cocktail streams are... Uh, that's not really what you're interested in. What you're interested in are the streams where it's a chaptered-like approach. Where, like, in the streams, we take cocktail breaks. Like, when I do streams like that, at least I did previously. The last thing game I did that with was my Valhalla. Was when I did my Valhalla playthrough. That actually has clips of me drunk on camera. They do. They did. You came from Stark and tried to troll me, but... Oh, am I already... I've already got that. I'm already trolling myself here. I don't think you could do- I don't know if you could do it any better than I can. Technically, you could spam. I won't stop you. Somebody else might. Nah, just kidding. I'll probably stop you. Or maybe I won't. I don't really know. I'm feeling frisky tonight. Maybe you, you can spam a little bit. You can- you can like do a little spam. I, I gave you permission for that. That's okay. I'll allow it. I'll allow it just really- just for this one time. Cause I'm feeling generous today. Generous? That just sounds weird. I'm not- nah. Anime? Oh, okay, Animite. Yeah, she's watching. All I have to do is yell, SPAM ALERTS! And she'll be like, I got you! Just kidding. She'll be more like, what do you want me to do about it? I'll be like, I don't know, continue giving your um, ever-long love and support to me as as we support each other and everything that we do to have and a hold in sickness and in health till death to us part. You know, like, you, you, sappy stuff like that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Laurel, I didn't realize that I got drunk during those streams. Would I play it again to show off some endings since you got close to at least one of the special ones? Yes, I would. I am wholeheartedly anticipating to go back and play Valhalla again on um, on a New Game Plus. I, I plan to. That is absolutely on the list of games that I plan on going back to at some point. Um, as well as the other stuff that takes place in that universe. Is I thought I heard a knock on my door. It's possible I did. I don't exactly know. Anyway, anyway. Anna's the chief Cameron moderator. The CCM. The CCM. Yeah, that's what that's what she is. You're the chief Cameron moderator. Oh, okay. You're the chief Cameron moderator. CCM. Cheek? No, not me. I didn't I didn't call you that. It's just weird. Cheek? The cheek moderator. The cheek moderator. The chief cheek moderator. All cheeks must be a pre approved consumption. Pre-approved by the CCM, the Chief Cheek Moderator. And the Chief Cheek Moderator of the day is Anna. She's been the Chief Cheek Moderator for quite a few months now. Quite a few months. Come to think of it, I've been streaming for quite a while. I've been streaming for like... It's it's almost been... Uh, like nine months now? My god! My stream just got born! It's, it's about ready to come out of the womb. My stream stuff. That sounds weird. But we can soon never, never say that again. All right, CCM says never say that again. Okie dokie. I will never going forward um, will never refer to my stream as being born or any age or exiting any sort of biological part. 
What do I want? My unicorn blanket? My unicorn robe? Blanket? I'll just like st it's it's a robe. I think it's a robe. It's a blanket. Okay, it's probably a blanket. It's one of those things that got that. What am I? What am I doing? Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. Look at this. Look at this. I just watched oh, it. it's not actually cocktail time. That's a lie. This is my unicorn robe and or blanket. It's a my blanket. Oh, it's stuck on my stuck on my umbrella. My umbrella. So it's it's like it's a little hood. Put on your head. <sighs> Anyway, this is not a very good example. As you can see, my horn is kind of flaccid today. But, um, I think we can get the point across. <sighs> gotta, I gotta wrap, my, wrap myself into it. It's just like, uh, it's, it's this thing. It's There's no armholes or anything like that. This is just, it's my robe. I would consider it to be a robe because I would absolutely picture myself walking around the house almost naked, save for this to hide my shame. Maybe I'm naked right now. Oh my god, shield your eyes! Just kidding. I'm not naked. That'll be that'll be the way that I that'll be the way that I introduce stream time on one time. I'll be like, hey everybody, I'm Cameron. Um, today on Cameron, well, uh, am I naked or not? Place your bets now, and then I will reveal the robe, showcasing that I am not in fact naked. Because why the hell would I be naked? That's the, that's a TOS thing. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> My horn is flaccid today. It is. It it was. It was. Not my, not my party hat horns. Oh, I got party hat horns. They're, they're new. They're new to the party hat collection. We have more party hats. Those party hats are unicorn horns now. Oh yeah, that was always fun. That was real good. <laughs> Lorelai thinks she's got one of those, except it's like a blue dragon and it had like mini paws on the two corners. That's so cute. Yeah, I don't have any paws or hooves. I guess you would find hooves on a unicorn, right? Because they're basically like they're horses with horns, horses and horns. Hans and horses. Hans and Hans and horses. Hoss time with the horn boy. Oh yeah. You know, in the vernacular of unicorn world, I would think that instead of calling ya boy, ya homeboy, you call ya boy, ya horn. Horn boy. You come here, horn boy. Like, like that. Like I would call you, our, you, you could be my horn boy. Come, come on, horn boy. Join the party, homeboy. It kind of also sounds like homeboy, to be perfectly honest. So I think to an outsider listening in, wouldn't really tell. Horny boy? Uh, yeah, I guess that is a little on the nose now, isn't it? If you won't tell anybody, I won't tell anybody. I'm, I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. Let's make whoop technology. Boop. Nice. I don't have any silky sand or anything like that, or more lava dust, so... Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, oh my god! Um, do I need more extractors? Uh, extractors are always good. I got plenty for that. Advanced pumpage! Uh, la, 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 I need more pink plorts. I'm just gonna go around and grab some pink plorts. I'll get some, uh... I'll get some good good from my farm. Get some of that good good. And then, uh, I'll go around and do that. Oh, yeah. Unicorns could also be like, weird goats. True. If they have split hooves, since their tails are sometimes longer with a tuft at the end, have beards, and their sound was supposedly more of like a, like a, like a bray, instead of a nay, like a nay, bray, bray, bray. Okay, today on camera with an X, I make way too many sounds for my own good. And thanks for coming to our show. That's it. Bye, guys. Nah. Let me grab some fruit. Oh, you know what? I didn't say hello to the quantum slimes. Or any of the rad slimes, or the other slimes, or the slime slimes, or the lava slimes, or the... Wow, look at all those lemons! We got so many lemons! Actually, quantum plorts are... Are they important? I don't remember if they were important or not. I we'll find out eventually. I like to imagine. Honestly, I'm not. I, I like to imagine like the similarities and dissimilarities between like you know unicorns and other sort of horny type creatures. Like for example, the goatacorn or the ramacorn or or I don't know. There's a whole game based off of this actually. It's called. Uh, I think llamas un llamas unleashed is that one. I'm pretty sure llamas unleashed. Uh, where you get to. It's a, it's like a, it's very similar to a card game called Unstable Unicorns. Unstable Unicorns is a great game. Llamas Unleashed is a great game. Unstable Unicorns features unicorns and unicorns exclusively. However, the Llamas Unleashed game allows for various different types of horned animals, such as goats, 
rams, um, narwhals, and, 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 and unicorns, of course. And then there's a mechanic in that game where if you have, like, multiple of a particular type, you can summon, like, you get special powers based off of them. And, of course, there is the, um, actually, I wonder if there are, I guess narwhals don't need to be a narwhal or corn. It's just, it's just the narwhal, because narwhal, narwhals by nature have horns. Like, there is no narwhal a corn, because that's just, it's just a narwhal. If you give a narwhal a horn, it's still a narwhal, because it already has a horn. But of course, the goat corn and the ramicorn and the unicorn. I want to say there was another type of ichorn, but I don't remember. And then, of, of course, of course, the favorite of all of them in the NSFW pack, children cover your ears. The horse with the dildo taped to its head, which is a unicorn? Probably? We're not saying it's not a unicorn. Just, just like, you know. Just looks like a unicorn. May not be a unicorn, just looks like a unicorn. I have a lot of quantum plorts over here. There must be a way to increase I wonder, can the can the inventories go above the 50 mark? Like, can I have more than 50 spaces space in my inventory? Because that'd be pretty dope. Be pretty awesome. Gotta say, be pretty awesome. <sighs> if I haven't said it once before, that is a very nice cocktail, the Black Widow. From the 1001 Cocktails book by, I don't know, some publishing company. It's really annoying to me because I like to give credit where credit is due for most things. And like, there's no author on the cover of this book. It's just a thing. All I can do is credit the, um, all I can do is credit the publishing company, I guess. Like, thanks so much for getting your hands on all this stuff that needs to be printed and printing it. Like, thanks. You're welcome, Kay, gotcha. Gotcha. I don't know how publishing works, but whatever. <laughs> Gotta collect more of my quantum ports over here because I just don't have enough space for all this quantum energy. Just pure energy. I'm gonna try to take exactly 50 of them. Uh, I was close. I was close. There we go. There we go. Inventory can increase. I'm not sure if it's tied to a recipe unlocks or the Z Club. Ah, ah. All right, well. We'll get there eventually. I just like, you know, like, I love running around the farm and whatnot, but like at this point, eh, getting a little. Ooh, I need to put things into the incinerator or these guys are gonna dry up. How about quantum floors? We got plenty of those. Oh, yeah. Whatever. We got plenty of quantum ports. I don't really need the money anymore. Is that doing anything? Is that, is that enough ash? I thought I saw- Whoa! Okay. Okay. Hot stuff. Or does it need to be fruit only? Did I just- Wait, it's all- Oh my god, wait a minute. Whoa! Oh, so that was doing something! Yeah, alright. Well, Oka Oka is a reserve for you guys, I think? No, you like strange onions. You like- Uh, do you like this? Oh yeah, you do! Oh yeah! I don't think plorts give ash. Well, we had to learn somehow, and we've learned today. So, oops, oopsie daisy, wazy pazy. Here, you're become ash now. You are done become ash. Poop, poop. There we go. Ash, ashes to ash, to ashes. Ashes to ashes to ashes to ashes. Ashes to ashes. ashes, to ashes. That's why Ash Ketchum remains the same age throughout all eternity of Pokemon. Unless he's grown up. I don't, I don't really know. And honestly, I just don't care. I don't watch that much Pokemon. I mentioned, I think, previously, that I want to watch more po I, I want to play more Pokemon games. And in the future, damn, damn you know it, I will. I'll play Pokemon. I want a reason to get back into Pokemon. I liked Pokemon. Honestly, before I went on vacation, I was trying to determine whether or not I would be able to, like, feasibly do like stream mobile games and like it's possible but to set it up on my side would be very very cumbersome and not very reliable frankly <laughs> to be honest it'd be more reliable than with the current internet service that i get right now so like i guess it wouldn't have been too much of a total loss but uh, i didn't wind up doing it oh i'm stuck i'm stuck oh my god I don't get out of this. I, I am, I am the stuck. 
Uh, options? Uh, there? Not options achievements, no way. Uh! Uh! I guess I'll wait for my energy to come back up. Huh. Ash done say, I wish my parents named me Bob. Bobby like, chicken? Ash like, never mind. I am... I am less stuck. I cannot... I cannot move. Get, get, if, I, if I water myself... Oh my... Oh, 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 okay. Okay, oh! Yay! The game corrected itself. I don't know what happened there. All right, whatever. I'm gonna go grab some more ash for you guys. I'm gonna go get some more ash for you guys. Um, or things to become ash. I know stuff is supposed to potentially wash up on the shore. The chicken. Chicken washed up on the shore. So that's num nums. That's tasty, tasty num nums. I should go grab some phase lemons. We got plenty of phase lemons. I don't need that many. Actually, well, I do need that many phase lemons. Give me some carrots. Give me some carrots. Oh my god, there's so many hen hens. Give me, give me hen hen. Give me, give me hen hen. I'm gonna bring you guys over to the. Whoa, chicken! Alright! And more uh, carrot and. Carrot, 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 carrot. Carrot, 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 carrot. Alright, ash time. Chicken. Nice. Chicken is mine. Chicken be mine. An emergency knockout exists, but most of the time it sorts itself out. Oh, I'm glad it did sort itself out. I didn't want to knock myself out. Not like that, at least. Not like this. Anything but this. Oh, yeah. Ash time, baby. Yeah, boy. Give me some of them. Give me some of them yum-nums. Num-nums. Give it. Oh, oh, I don't have any space. Uh, hmm. Hen. Well, I guess I'll throw all the... Uh, I don't know. I'll throw the carrots in the water over there. And then, like... All right, you know what? Um, y'all. Uh, consume. Consume this. And then y'all can also consume this. Go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, go for it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you go for that. You go, Glen Coco. You go, girl. I know that's a reference to something. I just don't know what the reference is. We were also talking at work the other day about, like, Nicolas Cage movies and how I, I need to watch more television, apparently. Because uh, I'm really not up to snuff on all the Nicolas Cage movies that are out there. I should be. Uh, there we go. Now I can collect those plorts. Plorts. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, where'd you go? Buddy. Buddy. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay, well, I don't want to do that again. Nope, no, no, no. Just, just the plorts, please. Just the plorts, please. Thank you. Just the plorts. Just the plorts. Yes, yes, thank you. Thank you for your patronage. Uh. Bath! Bathe the carrots! It's wild soup. Eat the soup. Want some crystal soup? Soup, soup, soup! Now that we'll float. They actually look very pretty. That was just so I can grab these guys. Bye, y'all. Heading out now. Going off to the scar. Bye bye. I usually have a shit ton of rad plorts, so. It could be advantageous eventually. Uh, I don't have enough space for carrots. That's fine. We'll soak all the carrots in water, and that'll be. That'll be the thing. It'll be tasty. It'll be so tasty. So tasty. I'm gonna check. Crafting wise. Crafting buys, I want to see if the crystal plorts, the fire plorts are good for anything. Uh, I definitely want to sell them. They're good for money. good for the monies. Very good for the monies. Ah, uh, head hands. Eat, 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 consume. Eat it. Eat it. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Tasty, tasty num nums. Uh, let's see. Craft. Anything that called for the more crazy plorts? Honey plorts? This one actually called- Oh, that one actually called for the hunter plorts. I definitely shouldn't have sold all those. I did have quite a few of them. Buzz wax and other things like that. Quantum plorts we've got plenty of right now. Can't do any more of those. Uh, actually, well, I got plenty of money, so like, let's... Um, let's purchase some of these. Pink teleporter, alright. Uh, blue warp, alright. Uh, gray warp, sure. Med station, alright. Hydro turret, alright. Refinery link, okay. Slime ball hoop, okay. Slime stage, alright. Pink slime lamp, alright. All right, 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 all right. There's plenty of things to craft now. Now, what can we, uh, what do we, yes. Uh, utilities, med stations, require pink ports and red ports. Uh, cool. Had, requires puddle ports and boom ports. We got some of those. Spiral steam, deep brine. Brine of the deep. Novice Gordo snare. Special snare that captures a Gordo slime. Bait it with food and wait. I suppose that'll attract the Gordo that, whose side, the Gordo whose favorite food you put in the snare, I guess? That's advantageous. Warp tech. Pink teleporter. A set of two teleporters that can be used to create your own quick travel link. I don't have enough stuff for that. I need more deep brine. Blue. Blue, 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 blue. 
out is the blue Christmas. Allows you to remotely deposit resources into the refinery. Is this, is this the refinery? Hey, look! It's the refinery! Aki daki! Aki daki! I like it, eh? I like it, that technology. Refinery link? Can I make it some? I need more oil. I gotta get me some uh, more oil. Pink slime. I don't have enough to make these. I could make minty grass patch. Eee. Curio. Oh, these are curio. Alright, well. Um, I sh I'm gonna build more... Oh, I need pink slime. Pink slime, pink slime. Uh, fire plus I didn't find. Neither did I find crystal ports. Or I did find rap ports, but... That's okay. Refinery links, market links, and drones are the gods. Yes. And, yep, how accurate the Gordo you get depends on the level of the trap. Ah, okay, how accurate. So I guess it's more likely to get the one that you're looking for. Butterscotch teleporter! Nice! I like that. That's cute and exciting. Incoming. Mochi or ba- Bob! Bob! Ah! Chickens! Yeah, you're fine. Uh, Rustro, Painted Hen, and Briar Hen. Yeah, I think we got those. I think... I think we've got what you're looking for, buddy. I think we've got what you're looking for. Don't you worry. Don't you worry, my friend. We're gonna get you your chicken. You want cheeky? We're gonna get you cheeky. Chicken good. Chicken very good. Chicken, uh, chicken very good. You want chicken? We got chicken for you. Very good chicken. You got tasty chicken. Oh, yes. Uh, one briar hen. Oh, okay. T er, painted hen. Um, one rooster. Give me a rooster. Uh, are there any more roosters over here? Oh. Oh, yes, there is. There's at least one. You will do the breeding for everybody else. Painted, and then I need one of these guys up here. Briar, 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 Briar. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, stay there. Thank you very much. Going to give you to the crazy guy. I wonder what he does with these. Probably, probably eats them. Maybe. Mm. Silver parsnip. Do I have an area for silver parsnips? Wait, yeah. Oh wait, I, I, I might, I might. Hold on. Hold on. Ho hold on. Hold on. Let me check in the science area. I believe there's silver parsnips in the back. Maybe silver smart parsnips in the back. Let me go. Let me check it, check it, check it. Is this full already? That's not full. You lie. Silver parsnips, they're vegetables. And those can be given to the mosaic slimes, I'm pretty sure. What? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Right? You guys enjoy veggies? Like veggies? Like veggies? You like veggies? Mosaic and all that stuff. Uh, you guys hungry? You guys hungry? Eat that. Eat that. Eat that. Get all nice and happy. I'll give you guys a few of these. And I'll give the majority to the rest of these guys over here. Uh, do I have a feeder? I do. I do. I do have a feeder for y'all. Ouch! Don't hurt me. And then the rest will go in here. Yeah, y'all are hungry, right? Yeah! It's tasty time! Oh, these are these these are fruits. Uh, y'all don't need any more fruits, do you? No, you you really don't. Um, but take them anyway. There you go. There you go, pal. Spend it all in one place. Okay. All right. All right. And you know what? I got some extra cubeberries, so I might as well give that to you as well. Uh, la 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 la. Let's grab some of these guys. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. Grab some more mosaic ports, got plenty of those. And I'll sell those all too. Never know what you might find. I definitely want more of the, um... Uh, actually, do give me the prickle pears. Because I'll give those to the hunter slimes and some pink slimes that I find out in the wild. And that'll be good. You know what I haven't checked in a while? I haven't checked my mail. I'm gonna go check in my mail. Uh, but first, grab some more dervish ports. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh my god. Um, oh, those are... Oh, never mind. I thought those were plorts. They were not plorts. Who's singing? Singing was beautiful. On key. On key. Never off key. Very on key. Very good. Thank you, Sleems. Sleems, Sleems, they're everywhere. Sleeming everywhere. Oh yeah. Here you go. Eat. Eat. Be merry. Uh, I ain't working, so I'm gonna take those out to the wild. I haven't been home in a while. Let's go home. Home. Star mail! Uh, coming home. Hi, B. Uh, the year we both came home, do you think it ever could have worked? I mean, being with you again every day instead of the long distance thing was great. I remember feeling really happy, but something was missing. We both knew that we were giving up something for it all. I think about it all the time. 
that if we had been less honest about it all, how you might still be running that little garden shop, and I'd still be trying to write music out of a basement. Aw, that's cute. That's cute. It doesn't matter. I should have told you that but then. I should have told you then what I never did. I should have said it a hundred times. I love you. I want to sleep until the morning. So I love you too, dear. Not just the person who lives on the other side of the galaxy. Well. Seven Z's rewards. Yeah, let's 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 go. Let's let's go up. Yeah, why not? Arch upgrade. Arch upgrade. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. A slime toy shop. Ooh. Nice. Star mail. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks. Chroma Pack allows you to apply new color schemes to your ranch. Backpack and ranch tech. Allowing you to stand out from all the other ranches of our range. Oh, yes. It's wonderful. We know. <laughs> Slime toys can now be purchased from the shop. We have just... We have just installed on your ranch. Please excuse the excessive pauses in the sentence, but our technician drones may have needed extra time for the installation. Ah, they were typing it in. A little thing above. Very hot. All right. So I got a thing on there now. Well, that's all gone. Uh, where am I? Installed upon my... Oh, look at that. Nice. I want... Firecracker! Yeah, I like that. That's good. It's very good. It's too good. Oh, yeah. I like that. That's a nice slimage. No things available over there. Gotta grab me some plorts over here. Yeah, buddy. Let's grab some po- Uh, these guys. Uh, no, not you, actually. Um, y'all? Y'all? Y'aller? Y'aller baller? Oh, hold on. Hold for a moment. Have to sell my plorts. Gotta gotta sell my plorties. Plorty plorty bobordies banana nana for forties. B five for forties. Plorties. I'll grab some of the uh, chickens. The chickens over here. Elder hen. Some more y'all. Uh oh. There's no more roostros. Gotta get a roostro in the house. And preferably not these hen hens. I really don't care much about the hen hens. Oh, well. Uh, yeah. Eat and be merry, I guess. Eat. Be merry. Experience the glory of consumption. Da -da 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 -da. And I want some of those. Give me all domes. Give me all them plorts. Give me all them plorts. Gonna take that in and I'll put them all into the refinery. To be used for drilling apparatuses that I will put upon the various areas of the world. Let's go with um, honey slimes, I believe, are pretty important, too. I'll take a few of those. And then the uh, rock forts, too. Hey, why not? Got plenty of... Ooh, got plenty, 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 plenty of those. So I'll take those over as well. Sounds lovely. I think that's lovely. I think that is... Except for you! Here, get back in there. Oh, oh, no, 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 ah, no, I didn't want to do that. I did not intend on doing that. Uh-oh. Did not intend on doing that. Haha, <laughs> whoopsie-daisy. That was an accident. That was an accident. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Mwah. Goodbye. I, uh, I'd say I'll miss you, but I don't think I will. There we go. I wanted that one in there so I can collect this one. There's tabby plorts over here. Where'd that come from? Why are the tabby plorts over here? There should be no tabby plorts over here. What are you talking about? Anyway, I'm gonna go deposit these. Mistakes were made. But crisis averted. Crisis averted. It was the wrong plort color. And that was one of the good ones. The pink ones. Ugh. Like, next what I'll do is I'm gonna go out into the... I'm gonna go out into the free range. I'm gonna go take some fruit and stuff with me. I'm gonna grab as many pink ports as I possibly can, which is gonna be 50. I can really only do 50. Um, uh, and I'm gonna place some refineries along the way. Um, along some areas. So let's grab, or refinery, uh, uh, AP areas, stuff, or whatever. Let's get one of those, let's get one of those, let's get... I'm out of pink ports, so I guess that's all we're making, so. Um, we gotta grab some of this fruit. Frutas! Bring the fruits! Yum! Yes, fruits! Fruits, yum. Uh, you know, actually, let me grab some... Let me grab some meaty yum-yums and bring them over to the boys in the cave. The boys in the cave need some of that. Oh, it just has to do an egg. At 10 briar hands, this should be more than sufficient. 
I haven't fed the boom slimes in a while. They need feeding. They want to be fed, right? Y'all want to be fed? Yum, 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 yum. Ooh, tasty, tasty. Mangoes. And I haven't, I guess I haven't, um... Did I do mint mangoes already? Actually, you know what? I'm going to take these with me. I'll take these with me out into the field. And you, this boom port should not be in there. There we go. Get, get, get over there. Get it, get out of here. Back into your cage. We don't want you. There's plenty of these things filling up, so I might as well just take them with me. Just so things don't fill up completely unnecessarily. Oh, there's no cute... I thought there were cube berries in here. Was I wrong about that? Apparently. Guess I was wrong. Well, y'all can suffer. You'll be just fine. I'll be back for you eventually. In the meantime, fuck for slimes. Guess I'll make my way over to the indigo quarry, because the indigo quarry has various types of slimes, which I believe include the pink ones, because they show up everywhere. There we go. Deposit all of those. It's good. It's gooch. It's lovely. It's great. It's delightful and lovely. The boys are revving their engines outside again. That's always a sight to hear. It's just like, yeah, we get it. You're compensating for something. We understand. You don't have to tell us twice. And then you hear in response, like, all right, man. We get it. We get it. Are you done? Is you done? Yeah, boy. What do we got? Yeah, all right. Bye bye. It's a sight to hear. It's a sight to hear and a sight to behold. All right, let's put some stuff down. Uh, Ekivate. Um, did Deep Brine come from here? Deep Brine might have come from here. Apiaries? Apiaries are good. I want to put an apiary elsewhere. Nah, I'm going to put an apiary right here. This is just the easiest place to get to right now, so. All right. I like it. I like it a lot. Now, onwards to the pinks. Onwards to uh, the pinkers. Hey, Pinko. Nice. <laughs> nope, not deep right over there. I figured. Had to be somewhere. Had to be somewhere. Eat. Eat. You eat fruit. You eat veggies. So this will this will separate the good ones from the new ones. There we go. Boom. Boom. Boom time. Boom town. Give me the, um, oh wait, don't eat the port. Oh, you see, that's, that's where the problem's gonna be. I gotta, eh, eh, get out of here. No, stop eating the plorts. No, 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 give me the plort. Oh, I got like no plorts from that. Oh, hello, plort. Make that four. Come on, give me, ah, 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 there we go. Oh yes, oh yes. Where the, I know I grabbed one of the plorts. Come here, yo. Deep brine is dry reef, like right outside the mossy red. Oh, wild honey is a pain since it needs the forest, and that's not really a warp. I guess that's why we have warp tech to utilize eventually. Eat this mango. I know there are baddens around. A oh, pink boom Margo. Yeah, eat that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mmm. Water. Mmm, water. Water, 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 water. Go. Bye. Water, 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 water. Whoa, no, 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 don't. Oh, you don't eat those. I, I don't have to worry about that. Eat. 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 Nope. Okay. Just, ouch. <laughs> Owie. Owie. Boxy. 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 Pink forts? Nah, it's not worth it. What's over there? Nothing. Just the water. It's just the water. Is that a pink port? Oh, yeah. I want me some of those. Ah, uh, I like that. Tars need to hydrate, to dehydrate. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Yes, indeed. So, just a real head, a quick heads up. I told myself I was going to keep it short and sweet tonight. I have some work stuff that I need to take care of, so that will be the remainder of my night. So I think after I come back from this little excursion with the pink plorts, that's what we'll call it for the evening. Short and sweet, Slime Rancher Adventure. Uh, things will be, uh, because of the, I've already kind of said before, like, because of the new job structure, I think my schedule is going to wind up changing a bit in the future. It's going to be a little confusing. Uh, because of Gen Con, a uh, board game convention that Anna and I are going to, I will only be streaming once next week. I'm not exactly sure what day I'm going to do it on, but it will either be Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. It's going to be one of those days. I haven't quite determined it yet, so it's not on the schedule yet, but uh, it's going to be smaller sessions, uh, unless it's on the weekend. I'll... 
definitely be doing like marathon stuff because I thoroughly enjoy the marathon stuff that I wind up doing. It's a, an enjoyable experience. Oh, hi, pals. But so I like those. And of course, you know, there's no, there won't be a, there will be like um, cocktail streams, stuff like that. Because I enjoy doing that. And I feel like, I don't know, I almost feel like that's more relaxing after a hard day's work than a video game. Or at least that's, that's my current thoughts right now. I could be totally wrong. We'll see. I'm going to have to figure things out a little bit. Changes are coming. Changes are coming. Change, changes have been coming for a while now. But uh, it's now finally time to... It's not like it, it's not like this is new. I've been trying to work for a... I've been trying to go for the... Uh, I've been trying to find a job, like a like a full-time job for a while now. But I did it! I did it! I finally did it! College grad boys got real job! I'm not saying like Spark Test wasn't a real job. It's a job. It's a job. However, it's not a job that pays all of the bills. That's what we needed. Yeah. Okie dokie, nice and best of luck. Thank you so much. Short and sweet tea. Short sweeties are good. They're also easier to edit and easier to upload. So that Chibi River one was really long. I literally had to, I had to wind up looking up. I think a, one, one small thing. There was one small thing that was like a gap in my memory. And if I didn't like look that up, it would have taken me literally like hours more. And it was, it was long. But it's, it's cool, like, that'll prepare me eventually down the line for, like, 24-hour streams. Like, eventually, like, somewhere down the line, like, I really want to do more, like, philanthropic stream stuff. Because, like, I'm gonna stream anyway. I want to do it, like, for a cause. Like, for example, like, the co-stream stuff is really nice because not only do I wind up getting some attention from that, but, like, somebody else may benefit from that, too. I like that. Charity streams would be really, really cool. Um, because, you know, raising money for people who otherwise need it like i think is a really wonderful thing and i'd love to do something like that just like i don't know it's not like i have much it's not like i have much money to give to such things but like if i can help bring in some for people who need it organizations who will use it well then i would love to do that um and i think i tried searching for that at some point uh, in the past but um i couldn't find any charity tra like charity stream events I know at least there's one that happens every year, and I know that was something that my buddy uh, Lycos Lore popped and di or did uh, sometime last year. So I'll probably ask him about that when the time comes around to be able to do stuff like that. It'll be great. It'll be great. And yeah, me doing me. It's actually really fun. Like I, it's it's. Let's see. I've completed my third day on the job so far. I'm really enjoying myself. I think it's an. I, I think it's an absolute blast. I'm having a really really good time with it. It's all of, um. I'm a very, I'm a very technical type of guy. I like to get my hands dirty with stuff. And by hands dirty, I mean like playing around with electronics and stuff like that. Uh, and I love, I love messing around with that stuff if I had the opportunity to. But I didn't really have the tools to be able to do that. Like, let's say you're opening up your rope, rope control and you're like, what's the black box on there? The little black square. Like, you might know it's an integrated circuit or something like that. Or maybe you know that it's like... Uh, supposed to connect your board to the internet and it's a cellular uh, like uh, by via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth But like what do you do with that? You're gonna have to learn how to like reprogram it and uh, to make it suit your own needs Unless the board itself is already hackable enough and I've always wanted to learn how to do that But I don't have the right there's not enough documentation out there for stuff like that I don't have the right tools to do the job if you need the right to if you find try to find the right tools they're like 500 something dollars maybe more each tool and it's like wow i can't purchase that on a budget so like i never got around to doing that stuff but this place is seems to be a uh, one of the things that'll wind up pushing me towards uh and in addition to that i studied my electrical and my computer engineering and that involves some programming aspect but also some uh, hardware aspect and so i've always wanted to i kind of got stuck at my last position at, uh, at Comcast, and I was like, I really want to do this stuff. I want to combine the two together. I want to get to that middle point, which they call like embedded programming or embedded engineering, um, because you're embedded inside the controller itself. And they were like, All right, yeah, you can do that. And then, well, COVID happened, and I I went home. So that's where I wanted to go next with things, and that's that's kind of what I set up for at this one. And I'm enjoying it. I think the people there are awesome. It's a small, small, really tight knit group of people group of folks they're all incredibly knowledgeable they're all very happy to like kind of catch me up to speed and newbie like myself and uh, i've been oh my god i've learned so much in the past um three weeks it's it's crazy to like 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 uh, they they wind up the they wind up making the these um these devices these electronic devices and so it's crazy to get to the point where you have to know that electronic device from the board 
and the chips all the way up to like what the customer will see um, when it goes up to like the website that the, the website interface that people see. It's like it's it's, it's really it's it's crazy. There's a lot of stuff to learn. I've learned plenty of that. Um, but I'll be working on a little bit more of that tonight to set things up on my personal computer because I live close to where it is. It's a 40-ish minute walk. 15-ish minute bike ride. And I could drive, but I, I like I like walking. Bike, walking is nice. Uh, I forgot my bike at home this weekend, so I actually don't have that on me right now. But I intend, intend on walking. I, I intend on biking, excuse me. I intend on biking. Uh, going forward, but that'll be that'll be a, a next week thing. So we'll see how that goes I've never really biked around the city before I bought my bike with the purpose to bike around the city to get to like classes and stuff like that And I never used it in the five years that I've had it like never but now I will because it just It it feels necessary. It feels like it is necessary. So I will necessitate it. But um, but yeah It's good. So I've deposited off all of my pig plorts. I think that I am Pretty much Gucci for today's episode. I think I'll grab some of these other ports over here, give them a sell, and that'll be that'll be where we wind things down for the evening. As I pop off, do a little bit of editing, stuff like that. Get this backed up to the channel. To the ch to the Chanel. The Chanel. It's literally only there. Ooh, whoopsie. It's literally only there just so I can like I, I like while I was rendering one of the videos the other day, uh, the orange juice the orange juice uh, stream that we did got really really messed up when it got downloaded. So when it rendered, it was like a hundred something gigabytes, but it was only fifteen minutes long. I was like, what the heck? That's not normal. It was not normal. So it took almost all day for YouTube to uh, to upload to YouTube, and God, the quality was terrible. So I re-rendered it. It was it's now like twenty gigabytes now. It's much less. I don't know what happened there, but. It's all, it's all good now. But so I don't want to have another problem like that again. The stream didn't cut out this time. So I think it's because, I think when the stream cuts out, the, 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 the stuff gets wonky. It gets really, 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 really weird. That or like my, I don't know, maybe it's a problem with my hardware. I don't really know. I don't want it to be a problem with my hardware, but it very well could be. I'm gonna have to give this computer a nice cleaning. A nice clean. I think this is to do for a cleaning because ever since I got that, coincidentally enough, when I got that GPU in, stream stuff started suffering. Which is weird, because it's supposed to improve the stream stuff. And I know it's not a problem with the computer, because it happens on either the, either the stream laptop or the main gaming computer. So it's 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 a network thing. It's my router thing. But Comcast won't believe me, because they suck! By the way, sorry Comcast that I'm totally dissing you. Uh, I knew you were, you were a great company to work for, but like... But you're aware of that, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, you are. You're definitely aware of that. All right, so selling off my ports for the evening, and that's where we're gonna wind down for the day. Thank you all so much for coming along. It's been a joy. We made a cocktail earlier on the stream. We do stuff like this every once in a while. Sometime later in this month, not exactly sure when, probably towards the end of the month when we get back from Gen Con, we'll do another cocktail stream. Uh, cocktail mocktail stream. I have my Pregatini book now. It's got mocktails in it. Maybe we'll figure out something like that. We've also got ideas on the list for uh, Slime Rancher Jello shots. Maybe sometimes. That could be pretty cool. That could be really awesome. That will be an episode. That will probably be a uh, mixological, mo mixological like game stream thing. Because we won't be making, we won't be making the Jello shots because they have to be made ahead of time. Or maybe you know what? Maybe that'll be like a just chatting stream where we actually make the Jello shots and then in the stream the next day, or maybe two days after. Um, we'll play Slime Rancher and taste them all. Actually, that's a really good idea. That's what I'm gonna do. I like that idea. Anyway, big preview for last time. The cocktail we covered was something called the Black Widow. It's got some dark rum in it, Southern Comfort, blue curacao. Supposed to be regular curacao. Oh, a message from Casey. We'll read that next time. And, uh, some lime juice. And it's... It's delightful. It's very, it's, it's rather light. Anyway, that's all we've got for the show today, everybody. Thank you so much all for coming along. It was an absolute pleasure. I always enjoy doing stuff like this. And even though the new job has started and, you know, it's taken up really a lot of my time now, I have found personally that I love doing this streaming stuff. It fills the void in my heart that theater left behind. I'm I'm into it, dudes. I'm totally into it. So uh, I'm going to start. I'm going to go for some raids going on here. I got a, I got a friend, I got a, a new friend, a new, new acquaintance uh, guy. We raided him last time we played Chrono Trigger, and he's on again tonight. Uh, buddy Zeta, Zeta Zig, 
fellow streamer who also does the Chrono Trigger. And might I say, might I say, he also does like voiceovers for the internal characters, which I personally appreciate because that's what I do. And I got I to gotta help out Common Minds, you know, I really got to do that. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to things as well. And I hope, Lorelai, I hope your days are wonderful going forwards, of course. And you're very, very welcome for the stream. I'm happy to be able to provide in any way that I possibly can to the local community at large. I get a lot of joy out of this too. So thank you all for coming. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, evening, twilight, whatever time zone you're in, the party continues no matter where you are, no matter in the world. So uh, chill out. Till next time, y'all. Peace out. Bye.